Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to NHL 2004 GM Mode, your Florida Panthers dynasty. Or, well, we're trying to make it a dynasty. We are in year number two March hockey play, right? This is the last full month of regular season hockey. And uh, it's been bad. Matter of fact, <laughs> it's been this bad. Played up. Lead. Oh, no! He scored on his own net! We need to shake this off right away. Get back out there and go on the offensive. I want to show you guys the, uh, <clears throat> the team stats. So this year, year number two, Dallas is among the top of the, of the league at 45 wins. Ottawa, a team that last year swept us and knocked us out. You guys didn't see it again. I'm so sorry. But Ottawa, we made it to the second round. And Ottawa is the team that swept us 4-0. to zero. They're a very good team. And so that makes me feel a little bit better. But ultimately, it was New Jersey who, uh, excuse me, who uh, ended up winning it all, right? They beat Detroit. Uh, Detroit's taking a step down, but they're still a playoff team so far. It looks, well, it's, you know, we don't know yet, but they're looking good. They're in the ninth, the ninth position in NHL. But New Jersey... I'm, I'm going to admit, they had a slow start this year, but now they, they really have turned it around. 45-17, three overtime losses. But uh, let's see. Matter of fact, look. Home, 24-10. Okay. Last 10. There you go. That's what I meant. They've turned it around. So, New Jersey is looking very well. Uh, late play. F <sighs> Philly looking really good. 9-1 and one last 10, man. Holy crap. But you're wondering, what, what happened to Florida? You know, well... Because we got rid of all those 30-year-olds, uh, higher 30-year-olds, and, well, we have fallen down. The New York Rangers, they finished, they were the last, no, no, not the Rangers, it was the Islanders, I think that were the worst team, but these, all these teams here on the, you know, edge of playoffs here, we're still not there, we're still going down, Pittsburgh's still a bottom team for the most part, they've been struggling, kind of playing at the middle there. Islanders still trying to work out the kinks. We are falling. Tampa Bay is falling down a little bit too, though. Buffalo, the Jets, the Winnipeg Jets there. You see them. A 50, 500, uh, you know, team, 500 team there. Chicago, St. Louis. Where are we at? Well, guess what? Okay. We are down here. <laughs> we are down here. We are well below 500. Uh, we are down here with Columbus. Nashville, uh, yeah, 23-33-10, and 3-7 uh, and in the last 10, you see at home and away, we're just playing around the same, really, we're just not playing good, and that's good, I guess, you know, I mean, I, I really don't care, we want to build the team, um, I don't think their potential is getting messed up for playing bad like this, so it's, it shouldn't hurt them too much. Um, I haven't even taken a look at any stats yet. So let's do that now for our team. For the league right now, Heatley with Winnipeg? Wow. Team that's not even in the playoffs. There's Joe Thornton. Holy crap. Beast second place there that's not too big of a surprise right a lot of the rest of the players i really don't know i know a little bit of names like like i said Ovechek, uh joe thornton michael crosby who isn't in this game phil castle i know i know some names but a lot of these old these names from 2004 i do not know but moving over to our our team uh there we go Jokinen, we want to see him at the top, and that's exactly what we do. He's having a 62-point season so far. I did end up bringing um, Richie Park. I believe that's his first name. You know, I brought him in. He's a veteran guy, you know, in his late 20s, I believe, just so we can have some type of, you know, success for the fans, for the younger players, and he really has been everything I was – Wanting him to be, thinking he was going to be, because he look at him, he's second in points, like he should be. So your boy, your GM Johnny here, even in hockey, he kind of knows what he's doing here. 
Now, don't get me wrong. I know we're, we're one of the worst teams ever. I'm just saying. Brought this guy in to be a second guy. And look at him. He is second. For sure. I wanted Jokinen to be our main guy. And he is. Because he's 25 and we're building around him. But um, a lot of the younger guys. Bo Meester. You know. Not really good year. Not really bad. You know. He's a defensive player. He's not supposed to get a lot of points really um and i've been saying vid licky dude that's just because like the v his first name and uh, zid licky i like vid licky a little better zid licky though i'm gonna start calling him zid licky zid licky i like the vid licky i record these a lot uh, late at night when i'm kind of i've already had a long day so Whatever, dude. Um, he's played. Vidlicky was our first round pick. Do I have to do it again? Vid, Zid. They're so close. Zid Licky. Anyways, seven goals, seven assists, fourteen points. Not good. <laughs> but I mean, again, without any help, really, what can you do? You know. Um. So yeah. The biggest negative thing, I guess, about kind of tanking like this is our personal success as a general manager we haven't had any upgrades we're not getting really any much experience uh, so this is what we're looking like right now and um, you know you can compare yourself to around the league so what I was kind of doing was I was comparing uh, myself against teams that have made it to the finals like Detroit or Dallas who looked really good and a lot of the teams have good facilities like the practice rink is all the way up so i was kind of try trying to copy them so i got my team travel up which is for away games and then the next thing we're going to work on is practice rink uh though i would love to to get our scouting up our coaching up no it's just unfortunate just th those won't matter if we don't get team travel and practice rink up first so it's kind of what we're doing there and uh, yeah, so we have fallen behind the 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 yearly this year's race for being the best GM for the year. We're still in the top nine, but we were in first for the year. Now we're all the way down here after all those trades I made. So for year for career, we are really falling behind. I mean, you can see. We're not even in the top nine. We're down here in the middle, about 13th. Yep, we are 13th. So I kind of view this as we are the 13th best GM available right now. Now, of course, in the end, it's only going to matter about who has the most Stanley Cups. And right now, Jay Bondock, Bondock can say that and... He could probably say it again, dude. He's, he's, in, he's in third win percentage right now. Looking very good. He has the most fans attending his games, and New Jersey's just loving him. Maybe one day we'll get there. But for right now, we've got some simulation to do, guys. That's right. We're going to go ahead, simulate some games, some live simming here, and we'll probably watch one of these last three games just to give you guys some some actual gameplay so without further ado let's go ahead and start simming going up against Colorado we're coming off of a win we lose Winnipeg can we beat them no we lose to them so two game losing streak now and we lose to Buffalo as well oh man in the end uh, you know we're not getting any experience for our GM but we are going to have that first overall draft pick. And I've been scouting some. We do have some guys I'm interested in, for sure. Ultimately, I'm ready to go ahead and get over with year number two. Because I do want to watch a lot of these games. But there's just no reason to watch these ones. Because ultimately, we're just not a good team. Ooh, a trade with Washington? Heck nah, dude. They won our first and Dallas's second. They'll take Hagman and give us... Oh, that's such a... Such a great trade, Washington. 
spit in your face. Get out of here. And we really suck. Oh, man. It's crazy because when we look at these, for some reason, it says we have higher overall. So I don't really understand that. Yeah, look, look, 82 overall to their 75. Well, we should win this game, right? Watch us lose it. Watch us lose it. See, that don't make sense. It doesn't make sense, dude. Whatever. Pittsburgh. I would like to watch a Pittsburgh game, but you know what? No. Whatever. We'll just keep moving. Oh, we beat them. Nice. Um, also, morale has been a pretty big issue. Um, not going to lie for um this year because we're not winning games everyone's kind of like kind of turning on each other not really i'll show you guys uh the morale oh never mind the morale went up it was in the 80s it was in the 80s for everybody but looks like we've kind of turned it around so that's kind of nice so um let's keep simming here we're just some day by day here now. There's no more trades I want to make. I feel good. Um, you know what, Minnesota? Let's let's uh let's make sure. Let's edit these lines here real quick. Let's make sure Liguano is gonna get a break. And let's let's uh let's bring in Mason, dude. I want to bring in Mason, man. I remember this guy was not doing too bad um, for us last year. Let's see if we, we've put him at his potential 79. We got try and grow him a little more, maybe. Yeah, season stats. Okay, he has. Ooh, he's played the same amount this year as he did last year. Ooh, he's. Okay. Never mind. He's doing way worse. He's 0 7. Holy shike. He was 1 and 5 last year. Now he's 0 and 7. Ooh, but you know, you got to think. You got to think. This is a way different team this year. Way different team this year. It's not as good, right? So he has less help. Um, so you can't really blame him, I guess, right? Let's see. Can he pull off a win against Minnesota? Oh, a 3-2 to two loss. That's unfortunate, buddy. Unfortunate. But, you know, it's okay. Just wipe it off. It doesn't matter. This is just practice for the most part. Just get you some experience. You know? Um, we are falling down as a GM, man. Are we still 13th? Oh, we're, we're 10th. Oh, we went up. We went up. Let's go. Nice. I don't know how or why. But we'll take it. Um, coaching options. Edit lines. Let's go ahead and make sure we take him out. I just wanted to do that for one. Home quest. Let's put, let's put a home quest in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what. Okay, who's this guy? I remember I picked him up. His potential is a 83. How's he done for us this year? Four and 15. Oh my goodness. This is the dude we were playing as um, the backup all season. We put Mason down in the minors for the most part, and we kept uh, Roberto Linguo, whatever Linguin, whatever freak you want to, however you want to say his name. Let's keep this a moving. All right, we're going against Audible here. You are about to send past the trading deadline. Uh, let's cancel for right this second. I want to show you guys. Um, just what we have for the draft. We have a lot of draft picks. Maybe we don't need them all. You know what? Maybe we try and just see. Let's let's go to trade. We're not going to be trading any players, right? We got rid of. All of our age, really. Our Jokinen's still our best player right now. But if we go down here, we have a lot of picks, I think. Let's see, we have one, two, three. Three acquired picks plus... Holy crap, wait, well, hold on, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine picks, ladies and gentlemen, nine. We don't need that many. There's no way we need that many, right? So what I think I would want to try to do is maybe give two seconds for a first. Like maybe give 
you know, uh, let's see, Nashville's. Nashville's playing bad, though. I want to hold on to that second one. Maybe, like, Detroit second and a Dallas second for first. I doubt that for trading it with a team that's, you know, not, you know, doing bad. A team that's that's going to the playoffs. Like, let's see. Um, like Detroit, but maybe like, maybe New Jersey, right? Do you guys, you know, this is a team that's coming off of a, a win. They still have their, they have all their picks. They haven't done anything, but would they give us, they would have three second rounders if they did this. I think that's, I would, no, nah, they're not going to do it. <laughs> they're not going to do it. Maybe two seconds and our, our third or our fourth. Trade rejected. No, they're not going to do it. New Jersey, man. This GM is a stubborn asshole. That's what he is. Our third, baby. Come on. No. I'm not giving you our second. Is this seriously going to take two seconds just to... It would not be worth it at that point. <sighs> We're going to finish better than Nashville and Phoenix. So three seconds for what their first. Would I be getting the worst end of this deal? Mm, I don't think I want to do that. They have made it harder to trade in this game. Or, you know, these older games are harder, man. I will say, let's switch to a different team. Islanders could probably use more picks than for like look they've already traded a lot of their picks away. We could try and get their first with two seconds. That's not gonna work. Oh man. Um, let's go by position. Hmm, they're good at D. Right wings, they're good. Left wings? Well, they, could, they could use some left wings. We don't have any anybody to trade, really. Let's switch sides here. Samuelson. What if we give him Samuelson? He's got 89 potential. He's a left winger of the future. He's a little older though. I think he's 23. Not getting much play time here. And two seconds for your first. No trade rejected. I think honestly, we're just gonna hold. Then I try to get rid of some of them, but apparently, it's just not gonna work. Did they take a third. Ah oh, man, dude. I don't want to give away all these second rounds, you know? Three seconds for a first. For the Islanders first. I just don't. You know? Maybe I'll do it with Nashville. I know Nashville's not playing good. Maybe they would rather the depth picks, you know? Like three seconds plus their second. Oh, they don't even have a second. Would they? That would make sense, right? Give up your first for more depth. But then again, I mean, they're, what, they're looking like they're picking in at least top three. I'll tell you right now, though. I feel like the game doesn't let you fleece them. So let's just see. Yeah, no, they're not going to. Okay. We're done there. I'm sorry, boys. I know I wasted your time. But, hey, I'm not cutting that out. Because if I had to go through it, you had to go through it. All right? This the GM experience. Ah, all right, let's keep simming then. Let's keep simming. Um, we had that dude in the net, and he gets a win. We had that dude in the net, right? Let's check. 
Yeah, he got a win. He's tired already, just like that. So we're gonna scratch Mason as well and put in home quest there. We, I shouldn't, I screwed up, guys, by trading Hermia. I already, I know that now. I don't need, you know what I mean? I know that now. I don't need to hear it. I do know that now because I didn't realize your second goalie plays a lot more than I thought. I will admit it. I will. I don't need you to tell. I will admit it. Yeah, I, I miss him. <laughs> I do. I don't even remember where I traded him to. But uh, he's gone. And uh, yeah. I'm just going to keep Roberto in there for the rest of the year here. Let's go ahead and keep him. We're on a win streak, which is not good, actually. But we'll follow it up with two L's, so that's fine. Make up for it. And we're still in March here. Tampa Bay. Lose. Three to four. We're losing close games. Oh, wow. We dominated Washington. Four to one. Okay, we are in April now. We got two more games, so we're going to watch these two games. Um, or, well, you know what? We'll watch the Philly game because I think... What team would we rather watch, guys? Or what game would we rather watch? To it's send off season two. <laughs> Let's play the best team in the league. Let's watch... The worst team in the league play the best team in the league. Let's watch your Florida. Worst team in the league. Go against the best team in the league. This is the playoffs, by the way. Philly, Dallas, Ottawa, New Jersey. Toronto takes a step back, but they still make playoffs. New Jersey, same with them. Vancouver, Anaheim, Detroit, Colorado, the New York Rangers, Phoenix, um, Coyotes. Calgary and the people that teams have just missed out. Wow, the Winnipeg Jets get in there with a with an 84 overall point year and just 39 wins thanks to a weak division. Chicago can still try and make it technically, I guess. These are all the teams that are out. It's looking like we're going to have the first overall pick cuz they did not have lottery draft picks in this uh, game. So, wow. And by by the way, Philadelphia. Holy crap. 55 wins on the year. 19 losses, 6 OT losses, 116 points. Man, looking good, looking good. Y means uh, division title, by the way. So they won their division. Dallas won their division. Vancouver, Detroit. And ultimately, that's why Winnipeg got in so low because they won their division. And, um, yeah, they get in because it was such a weak division. It's crazy that Tampa Bay fell off the same time we did. So. All right, we know what we're doing. Um, we're going to go ahead. Let's send this last one. We're watching Philly. Oh, wow, we win. That could have been our last win <laughs> in front of the home fans. We'll see. Can we get another one here? And uh, you know what? Let's check our GM ranking real quick because I know we're probably falling down here. Wow, Philly 140. Holy crap, Singer Holiday. Humi. Corley. No, we're 12th. We, okay. 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 That's fine. You know? For profit, though, we are, like, 22nd, so that's not good. Finances have been hard, man. Florida, we're in Florida, so it's. I feel like we're, it's always going to be a little harder to... You know? I want... A sold-out crowd in this game here. It's our final game at home, boys. Can I bring in 17k? That'd be dope, right? And uh, let's check the raw the the lineups for the final game, the final send out for year number two. All right, here we are. I want my best shooters up front. Let's check. Let's go by. Well, you know what? Actually, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's let's go by shot accuracy. I want Jokinen up there no matter what. 
But in that front line, I know for sure I want. Ooh, Smirk grew to a 50. He's a he's got 57 shooting. He's I've been playing Smirk in the minors for most of the season. I have to check and see if he's gotten any time. Zid Licky, 71 accuracy for shooting. I want him up there. And then uh ooh. So everybody else he's a defensive guy with 77 Ned Drost 81 put him up there um, keep calling there for center shot accuracy who's not starting uh, Let's have Tominen, Tominen, uh, Nelson. Gotta make sure none of these are relapsing here. Yeah, and that's right. I do have Zid Licky playing in two lines because he's young and he can get over it. All right, it's just it's gotta happen. In line four, why not put Yokin back out there? It's the final game, dude. They they can. Get your points up, you know, that kind of thing. I don't really care about defensive. Um, this guy's on fire, though. Kudrick. Kudrick. Um, Bikinen. This is a guy I drafted as well, guys, by the way. You know, he's got 12 points. 11 assists, dude. Negative uh, plus minus is negative 10. All right, let's check out the goalie. Just make sure we got our boy starting Roberto Languino go. There he is. Go out on our shields, boys. Let's go out on our shields. Yeah, there you go. All right. So there's that. Take a look at the stats really quick for this final game so we know some stat lines for your Florida Panthers since this is our our big grand finale of year two. You know, uh, sorry, Florida fans. Uh, not every year can be a great year, right? 77 point year for Jokinen, and so he it has went up for him. 32 goals coming into this game. He does lead, lead this team there, 45 assists. Uh, for the young boys, um, Zidlicky, can he get double-digit goals? This would give him 10 if he can score. Um, so that would be cool uh, if he can do that. Kennen, one goal only, but 11 assists. Um, Park has been, like I said, been pretty pretty well. Um, yeah. Not much really to look at there. Um, take a look at our goalies. How did they do? I mean, I feel bad. You know, Roberto took a step back in his wins because our team got worse. Mason, clearly not ready for the pros with a bad team like this. That just goes to show you how good Roberto was with a team like this to get 23 wins and almost go 500, you know. But his save percentage did go down. 88, I think last year was 89. Holmes, Quiss, Vist, 86. Save percentage ain't too bad. Considering, you know, but... Yeah. We knew it was going to be a bad year. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, get to the gameplay. Then, it's the best part when you don't get the playoffs. The off season. And draft and free agency. Of course, we will cover at least seeing who won the finals and, and look at the playoffs and stuff like that. So I'm hoping though it won't automatically sim like it I think it's going to do. But without further ado, boys, let's go ahead and get down there on the ice. I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay and I'll see you after the game. So don't go nowhere. Welcome to the game, everybody. Will the crowd affect this game, Craig? Jim, they always affect the game. A packed house can really boost your energy. 
but an empty arena just brings you down. Florida has been around 500 over the last 10 games. But you can't forget the longer the season goes on, the tougher the games get. Now is not the time to start getting overconfident. Centered. Nederost gets the loose puck. Recky. With the wrist shot, Luongo stabs at it. Great save with the glove hand. Zidlicki with a blistering shot. Blocked. Nederost jumps on the loose puck. Five four. Lane two. Thornton. Over the line. Fired it hard. Luongo makes the pads hay. Seidenberg grabs the puck. Hagman brings it up. Moved up. Quick pass up. Jokinen cranks one. Hackett closed the door. Played up. Salawi shoots it. Luongo gets a leg on it. Perfect pad save. Luongo freezes the puck. The faceoff goes to Philadelphia. Seidenberg with the puck. The Flyers come in offside. Tuesday night is hat giveaway night. The first 3,000 fans in the building will receive a... Philadelphia has it now. Featuring our emblem. Up along the boards. Moved ahead. Henderson. Weak shot. Nielsen. Into the attacking zone. Muscled off the puck. Henderson. He dumps it in. Philadelphia takes control. Line three. Nielsen. Philadelphia puts its scoring line out. Moved across. Janik grabs the puck. Weiss. Wrist shot. Hackett gets a pad on it. He had to use his entire body that time, but he got the save. Over the blue line. Bednar gets the loose puck with a wrist shot. Blocked. Recky gets checked. The hits just keep coming. In the corner. Hackett gets a pad on it. He comes up with the save, and the defense catches a break. Bednar has the puck. Terrian takes over. Shoots hard. Luongo stoned him cold. Thornton with the puck. Thornton. Luongo denied him. This man is equally at ease making saves with his gloves or his pads. Out over the blue line. Advances the puck. Centered. Along the boards. Hagman shoots the puck. He grabs it. Nilia. Philadelphia. Got it. Out of their defensive end. Bomister finds the loose puck. Brashear. Weinrich. Jokinen gets shoved. He scoops up the loose puck. He gets shoved. Passed ahead. Trinka is ready to drop the gloves again, and here they go. Let's see if he gets the upper hand this time. a win in this little dance. And he's coming off a draw in his last one. Florida isn't doing much scoring in this game. Well, they have subpar equipment, which doesn't help their cause, Jim. Sheer. Intercepted. Nederost. Mows down. Johnson. Leclerc. Into the attacking zone. Slap shot. He scores! The top of the net's a lot harder to cover than the bottom. That's why most shooters go high. That was a blistering slap shot. I don't think there's a goalie around who could have stopped that blast. That goal's not good news for this team. Their offense has got to start producing. Moved ahead. Great glove. Can you believe that last save? Ronick fires it. Luongo stoned him cold. Baudouin grabs the puck. Shot quickly. Pad saved by Hackett. Jokinen intercepts the puck. 
Florida grabs it. Baudouin. Philadelphia got it. Jokinen. Philadelphia with it now. And out they come with a puck. Centered. Wrist shot. Blocked. Savage jumps on the loose puck. Nederost. Ahead to the neutral zone. Quick pass up. Played up. Fires hard. Blocked. To Omanen with the puck. Kolnick. He dumps it in. Thornton gets checked. Moved across. Quick pass up. Line four. It's all on the goalie now. Hey, he's pretty close to a you-know-what. Passed across. Moved up. Baudouin. Change up! Brings it up. Janik. Slaney. He gets hold of the puck. Sharp gets the shot off. Weiss. Slaney gets the loose puck. Four, you're up. Sharp steals the pass. Henderson takes control of the puck. With a wrist shot. Pad saved by Luongo. Pitkinen jumps on the loose puck. Line two. Seidenberg. Line two. It's definitely been a team effort on defense. I think the goalie's been good, but he's definitely had some help. Hagman gets hit. Florida sends in the extra attacker. Jim, it's a gamble. The empty net could mean another goal, and that would ice it. Quick pass up. Played up. Kolnick gets pushed. Wrist shot. He hits the post. Seidenberg scoops up the loose puck. Out over the blue line. Philadelphia dumps the puck in. Corralled by Florida. To Omanen. Jokinen finds it. Shot the puck. Weinrich gets in the way. Moved ahead. And the play is offside. The players are lined up and ready for the faceoff. Ricky nails Bednar. Quick pass up. Florida is pulling their goalie. They don't think they can get it done five on five, so they're going for broke. From Sunrise, Florida, this is Jim Houston with Craig Simpson. From all the team here at EA Sports, we'll see you next time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. A very boring way to end the season for the fans. A 1-0 loss. I mean, it doesn't get worse than that, really, right? <laughs> um, So... I can't play next game. The only thing I can do is sim next or next go to next day. And so I'm hoping it won't sim playoffs, but I'm recording this just to make sure if it does auto sim, you guys are here with me. So let's see what happens. And I think it auto sim. Maybe Florida officially out of the playoffs. There you go. Yep. Look, it's auto simming, boys. Oh, can I quit, 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 quit? Nope, you can't quit. It's not letting me quit. I'm smashing triangle here. I'm holding triangle. It's not. It's just skipping through the whole thing. I'm sorry, boys. There's just nothing I can do about that. These older games, I guess they just didn't think it through there that you, hey, you know, you may want to see, you know, watch, you know, 
the rest of the league play their their season. But we are going to go ahead and look at the playoff tree, and I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to close it for you guys, and we're going to go back. It looks like Detroit and Philly made it, but let's see. All right, boys, so here's the playoff tree. This is how it went down. I have to do a secret reveal for you guys because, well, yeah, the game just auto-sims. Um, Dallas beat uh, number one seed again. This again beat San Jose two years in a row. This time, Colorado is their next is their next victim in the second round. Uh, Detroit beat F F Dude, I think Phoenix was in that same position and lost again. Colorado, Anaheim, for the most part, a bunch of the same teams. Detroit, Vancouver, though, next. And Detroit, 4-1. to one, So no sweeps on the western side, which would have left the Dallas Stars against Detroit Red Wings, where Dallas dropped the ball 4-1 to one in a series. Now let's go ahead and look over to the Eastern Conference, see what happened. And over here, it was, holy shoot, the Winnipeg Jets went on a run. Um, wow, okay, Philly beat Buffalo, easy, 4-1. Ottawa, tight game, goes to Game 7, but lose to the New York Islanders. Winnipeg beats the New York Rangers. The New Jersey Devils take a first-round exit, so they will not be winning again. They won the first ever Stanley Couple here on my channel. And not this year. Not in year number two. Toronto gets upset by Winnipeg, in my opinion. There's no way. This is Winnipeg's second year as a franchise. Uh, Philadelphia 4-1 to one over the New York Islanders. And then it would be Philadelphia beating Winnipeg 4-2. to two. Which would then take us to the Stanley Cup Championship. The Detroit Red Wings taking on the Philadelphia Flyers. And they would win 4-2 to two, Detroit Red Wings. Congratulations. Those are your year number two Stanley Cup Champions. I wish I could show you guys a little more. I wish we could even watch the games, kind of like how you can in Madden, but I don't think that ever got added, ever got it added. Um, I don't even think you can watch the, you know, watch other games around the league in modern NHL games. So we probably will never be able to watch those games. So that's a little unfortunate. And it does look like they. I mean, they even have the 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 ticker down there you know for us to be able to see the score at least but we can't because it auto sims the Detroit wins 5-3 in the final game at Philadelphia so Detroit wins on the road but um overall let's take a look at the awards and I do want to actually every year now take a look at the ch championship team um, just so we have it on record but here are the awards. So pretty cool here. If you guys want to stop and see Ooh, Lindstrom, I know I know that name as well. He's so good. Um, who doesn't know that name? Heatley there. He had such a phenomenal year. Who would have thought that Winnipeg would have went on such a run, man? Um, really, congratulations to them, you know? Um, yeah, there's your winners, though. Um, pretty interesting, but it's Detroit winning it. So look at the last five years. Yeah, Detroit Red Wings. Wait, hold on. Did Detroit win last year? I thought it was the. Oh no, my bad. I'm not looking at the uh, Stanley Cup final. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Stanley Cup finals the last five years. Look at this. Detroit Red Wings. The New Jersey Devils. The New Jersey Devils. Detroit Red Wings. Colorado Avalanche. It's really just been New Jersey versus Detroit, man. Man, oh man. Interesting, though, I will say. All right. Let's go ahead and now take a look really quickly at the... Um, the championship team for year number two here on the channel and year number two in the series and it is your Detroit Red Wings that bring it home 
And so we're going to view them by points. Uh, and these are season stats, not playoff stats, but season stats. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. B Hall, Shanahan, Lindstrom, Zerman, Newendike. Are you fucking kidding me? Jay Newendike. <laughs> he was on our team, guys. We traded him away. And he went and got himself a ring. Holy crap. Uh-uh. I gotta take a look here at playoff stats really quickly. Let's go over to the... This is about Detroit right now. This is about Detroit. How did he do in the in the playoffs for them? Wow, he was at third high. Jeez Louise. I literally helped the Detroit. I'm such a, such a great general manager that I help other teams win by giving them our, our veteran talent like Jay Newendike. He was their third third most points. 14 assists in the playoffs for this guy. Uh, but Shaw and Shanahan got it done. It was the it was the Hall and Shan Shanahan show, let's be honest. They've been dominated. Schneider, Malt B, but yeah, there you go. Uh there's your year number two champions. That's the team right then and there, baby. You can't view their lines or anything like that. That'd be the best uh, view of them, I guess. Uh, we could, I guess, just take one last look at their roster maybe this way. Uh, you know, you guys let me know which one's better. But uh, I think the stats are going to be the best way to look at uh, other teams around the league for this series anyways. Uh, Detroit, there you go. And uh, Lindstrom is their highest paid guy, but it's, it's actually funny. Shanahan and Hull were their top hitters in the playoffs. And 6.5 mil and 4.2 mil. Team salary, 92.7 million. They should be winning with a damn salary team salary cap like that. I wish we could afford a team like that. We can't so not fair <laughs> but overall you know I think their run is coming to an end so is it I, you know for Detroit fans hey congratulations I'm happy for you guys uh, I think your window is officially closed due to age unless this game doesn't you know have any negative effect for age then maybe you guys still have another window I don't know but I mean look at their stats I mean they did they're, they're very good and we helped them with Jay Newendike we helped that push them the missing piece we helped them push and get it right that depth at center and uh, I mean look at their team though they don't have one starting dude that's e not even his 20s like that's crazy dude 35 35 32 40 38 43 36 39 35 Lindstrom they are uh, a very old team and they got the win dude so congratulations to them here's our old player he was on our squad and uh, well now he's got him a, uh, a ring to show for it there so yeah 58 points in the regular season 19 in the playoffs so congratulations Detroit you did your thing all right now it is time to take a look at the GMs really quickly here. And for this year, Winnipeg got a huge boost for that amazing run that they did. And they deserved it. Um, 556 points earned. That's insane. We did not do good at all. We're down here at the bottom. 22nd ranked. So total experience in the total race, we we have fallen to 21st. Last year we were 14th, and now we are 21st in the great race of who is going to be the greatest GM ever. <laughs> Not good. Um, profits, you see, we are in the bottom of the well. We're right here at the bottom of the list, man. Just not not a lot of money, man. We're bringing in. For win percentage, we finished second worst. Not the first worst, so I'm not sure 
if we'll have the first overall pick. I hope we do. And for Stanley Cups, there it is. You know, New Jersey, Detroit. They both have one. But we also have some upgrades. So this will be interesting. Um, I think... I want to take a look at Detroit. Or there's New Jersey. I want to take a look at two, both these guys. So their marketing... I'm noticing is their this is their strategy is money and that's the, you know how they can afford so much of these good players there's there really is a strategy man to, to I like the way this is built this game is built and I don't at the same time but I think I, I like it more than I don't like it if that makes sense I like the fact that I'm not the only one having to do the system. Like every every team in the league is doing it. I think I like the system better than modern. I'll say that much. I I you know what? No. Let me take everything back. I'm a fan of this. I like this. This is so cool seeing other and the fact that all the other GMs started you know around the same level as I have. It's cool. It's so cool. And but everyone you can kind of see it almost makes you feel like you're playing real players because every GM is doing a different like strategy. So like you look at Detroit, I don't don't I think they only have a lot of money because they're winning games. But they're going all out for the practice rink here. And that's helping them in their home games. And then that's kind of what I was wanting to do. You see, but I did but the opposite for a way. But overall, I think we have two points to spend here, and we got to make sure we spend them correctly. Because yeah, we we need to do better. Um, if I went two here, I think that would get rid of our negative effect for all away games. So let's check though away it's negative eight I don't see I don't get that honestly I don't even I don't necessarily understand it anymore I don't know what should we do for our upgrades I want to show you guys though this one screen because I haven't been showing you it um we could do scouting let you view one to four more rookie prospects Attributes in the scouting report, medical, or helps players reach marketing, adds 4% to your home attendance, helps sign players for 5% less. I think we gotta hand we gotta handle and figure out um, marketing for sure, because we can't keep finishing at the bottom of that. But I think I do want to also upgrade scouting. Coaching though. Helps players reach their potential four months faster. We have that up to a three. Let's go scouting. Let's go scouting twice. I want to be able to nail scouts, uh, or excuse me, I want to be able to nail prospects and and not waste any picks. And I actually did struggle last. I'm not gonna lie, I, I struggled the last um, draft. I think I didn't really get a star guy like I was wanting to. Um, maybe we just do one. No, no, no. We're gonna we're gonna do. Both, I think. Ah, this is so d difficult. This is so difficult, guys. I really don't know. I'll probably do... Okay, I'm going to do this too. And I'm probably not going to touch scouting again. I probably won't touch scouting again. Then we'll do marketing and... Continue to just upgrade our home. I mean, excuse me, our away boost. So... We can start winning away games, and then we'll focus on home games. I think that's the strategy. Yeah. 
All right, let's see the next day here. I, I don't want to do the draft in this because I ain't got time. But we will talk about certain players, and let's see if we can actually see more attributes in the upcoming draft here. We cannot. So there's a few players I have watched. So let's go. I'm trying to see, did we get more attributes or not unlocked? I feel like we did. I feel like we're knowing more. But Mor Moroza has a 90 overall rating, 90 checking. He's a defensive player. I have him on my list. There's a few others that I have on my list, like um, there's one for uh, Yater. I have him, 85 pass, 80 endurance um acceleration sturm stashan I, th I think that's how you say that maybe i have him on my list uh Bury, i have him on my list shot accuracy and this is i think my number one guy i want crow Kravnechko, Kravnechko. I think that's how you'd say that. A little worried about his toughness. He could be take injuries. But 84 checking, 73 face off, 83 puck control, 83 shot accuracy as a rookie. 74 shot power. We don't know his balance. We know 80 acceleration. We don't know his aggressive. We know 79 passing. 83 endurance don't know agility 76 speed don't know his potential but he's a left wing 6 3 19 years old this is the guy i want at number one if we cannot get this guy i will be pretty upset so yeah feel like i wasted my points upgrading now that I'm looking at scouts, I feel like I didn't. I, I don't know any more than what I did before. So I'm probably not going to touch the scouting going forward. I think I can handle it with what we do get to see as of now, and I think I'm going to focus more on the marketing side, so we have more money to sign big, bigger players. And uh, the biggest thing is focusing on practice rink and team travel. I think I want to focus on one at a time, um, so that way at least. 50 yard of our games, we are playing very, very well. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this one, though. Next video will be the draft, so let me know. Um, I'm not sure what the draft order is. So, I guess we'll have to find that out in next uh, episode. Hopefully, we're picking number one.